Optimize each individual game on your Quest 2 headset. Yes, it is possible thanks to a little app I was introduced to called Quest Games Optimizer. Basically, what Quest Games Optimizer does is twofold. You can either pick from best optimized settings picked by the community, or go in and muck around and customize things to your liking. The other interesting part is that it offers higher recording resolutions that you can choose from directly from inside your headset. So you might be thinking, big deal, can't side quests do that? Kinda. However, with side quests, you need to plug your headset into a PC and run some ADB commands, and you can't set parameters for specific games. The settings you make with those commands affect your quest as a whole. Don't get me wrong though, I still love side quests for all of its amazing features, but I find being able to change individual game settings directly in headset extremely useful. Now I should let you know that this tool is not free, but it is extremely low cost. It's currently $4.99 on itch.io and was created all by one developer. Another disclaimer here when it comes to changing your settings, especially when you're customizing them yourself and not using a community-made profile, there may be a couple of risks, namely with increasing CPU, GPU, resolution, causing performance issue in your game depending on the game, and lowering the battery life of your quest in order to keep up with that higher demand. So something to keep in mind as you're pushing up those settings higher and higher. It's only an Android device after all, not a PC, so try to keep that in mind. Also, unfortunately, due to limitations with Android devices, similarly to SideQuest, if you completely restart your headset, you'll have to reconnect it to your PC or phone again in order to re-enable ADB. I'll get more into this later when we talk about setup. Now let's do a deeper dive on the app, what you need to get it running, and how it works, shall we? First, let's look at some comparisons. On the right will be the default game setting, and on the left we'll see changes made by the Quest Games Optimizer. For simplicity, I just went with already created profiles versus customizing them myself. Admittedly, it's something very hard to capture via screenshots or videos, but in headset, the effects are much crisper and more obvious. The first prerequisites are making sure that you have developer mode enabled for your Oculus account and that you have SideQuest. I'm not going to go over that whole process in this video to save time, so if you need help with those steps, check out this video here. Once you've downloaded the Quest Games Optimizer from itch.io, you will need to sideload the APK via SideQuest to your Quest. Unfortunately, every time you turn off or restart your headset, you will need to re-enable an ADB wireless connection for the app to work properly. This isn't the developer's fault. SideQuest, in fact, works this way as well. It's a limitation to Android devices. There's a few different methods to re-enable this, and you can pick which one is easiest and fastest for you. If you own SideQuest on either your PC or the mobile app, you can enable ADB by connecting your headset to your device and then following these steps on the screen. You can also use the ADB installer included in the zip file with the Quest Games Optimizer. Just make sure your headset is connected to your PC. After the app has been sideloaded, head into your headset and go to your library, then Unknown Sources, and open the Quest Games Optimizer from there. Accept the USB debugging RSA key and remember to select Always Authorize. You will also get an accessibility prompt where if allowed, any game you launch from your Quest library will have your settings applied. Otherwise, if not allowed, you'll have to open the games from the Quest Games Optimizer. This toggle in the UI serves the same functionality. Under each installed app on your Quest, you can change different performance options, choose from some presets, or make your own profiles. If you see HD or Ultra HD, these are pre-made community profiles. To make your own, simply click on the game and adjust whatever settings you'd like. If you're confused about how certain things affect what, you can click on the little green circle here to use as a guide. On top of customizing how the game looks and performs, the Quest Game Optimizer also features in-headset recording options. All of the recordings you see, except for the default, of course, were recorded with the full frame options. At a full frame, there was some lag in headset, but bearable if you really wanted to get 16x9 footage. What's interesting is that the lag didn't get worse as the resolution increased, and that's when I started getting suspicious. With these videos, the resolution quality didn't actually seem to change much, and all the file size remained quite similar. Going through the files, you can see that, yeah, they are at the resolution stated, but they still look lower quality compared to the videos I shot with the Oculus Developer Hub. So I decided to try the same Supernatural map that I did from that video. While the Quest Optimizer footage stayed stable and in sync with the audio, meaning Supernatural was actually playable, you can see some pretty gnarly artifacts at certain points when things start getting crazier. At 30 FPS at 2160p, I will say there was pretty much no lag in headset at all, and artifacts seemed to be a little less, but still there. 
So compared to the Oculus Developer Hub's recordings, which I tried earlier this month, you will get much less lag and the game will actually be playable, but depending on how far you push the resolution, you may get some artifacts in your recordings. For that reason, I recommend for anything fast-paced, like shooters or rhythm games, that you do some test recordings and stick to 30 FPS. Still really impressive compared to my experience with the Oculus Developer Hub. All in all, this is a pretty nifty tool. Perfect for customizing your game on a game-by-game -game basis, but also the ability to change video settings directly in headset, which is something Meta has been promising for some time now. In the description below, I'll post a list of optimized apps, as well as a link to their Facebook group in case you have any further questions. As always, keep on creating and never lose that drive to improve. I'll see you on the next one.